talking about the Bacon's story theory. Bacon's uh, introduced this theory as an evidence of the epistemic view uh, of quantum states, and it contains uh, uh, many quantum features uh, complementary to no planning, no broadcasting, teleportation, anti commune and Joel Jamikowski isomorphism. But it is local and non contextual. So, and he also generalized the theory by just uh, imposing some epistemic, epistemic uh, restriction on the uh, statistical uh, theory, so what kind of uh, statistical uh, states can be uh, prepared in the, in the theory. So, so basically we start with the classical ontological theory, and we get with statistical theory, just taking the statistical distribution on physical state. Then, uh, we have the epistemic, epistemic uh, restriction, which is, we called it uh, classical complementarity. Okay, so a, an agent can know only the values of the variables that commit uh, relative to the Poisson breaker and is uh, maximally ignorant otherwise. So here are some examples. If you start with the classical mechanics, statistical theory is the level mechanic. And uh, after epistemic restriction, we get Gaussian epistemic mechanics. So for traits, we get the statistical theory of traits, and the epistemic restriction is equivalent to operational equivalent to stabilizer sub theory for traits. If we start with fits, we will get the second story theory here, which is very similar to stabilizer sub theory for bits, uh, but uh, of course it is local, but otherwise not local. So start with optics, we have statistical optics, and uh, then we get uh, such a so our objective is to investigate these theories. Uh, we call it epistemic theories in short. Uh, how these theories fit into mathematical methods of uh, geometric quantization. So of course geometric quantization is a very huge subject. So it is very uh, hard to explain its technical details. But in the summary, we just need to uh, believe this statement. We start with a symplectic manifold. And from its geometric properties, uh, we, will, we will get a Hilbert state uh, space, a uh, set of operators on that Hilbert space, which give the quantum analog of that classical system. Okay. So basically, this symplectic manifold is modeling our classical mechanic, and at that end, we have the quantum analog of this. So in abstract theories, we don't have a general manifold, we just start with the Space the space, uh, the vec uh, symplectic vector space, which is the real space. So, and the restrictions are given as follows. So, a set of variables are joined to noble if and only if it is committing with respect to the Poisson breaker. And an agent can only know the variables which are linear combination of the position of momentum variables. So, here is the composite uh, comparison between the ingredients of the uh, geometric quantization and the abstract theory. So as you see, they are the same. So phase space are the same. It is a symplectic vector space. And space are also Lagrangian subspace with a evaluation function. And on here, for the transformation of the theories, we are defined symplectic groups. These are the transformations. And on the other hand, we are general Hamiltonians, but every affine symplectic transformation can come from uh, Hamiltonian on the other side. So we can uh, apply the uh, geometric quantization in this picture, and you will see uh, what we are going to get. So there are many methods of uh, quantization. So we are going to use group weight quantization, which is due to L.A. Hawkins. At the end, we will obtain a C-star algebra, okay, which is a, a twisted group C-star algebra. And this is the our recipe. And it is, of, of course, very general recipe. But in our case, it is just a symplectic uh, vector space. So here, the important thing is the polarization. So the quantization depends on this polarization. And at the end, we are going to get a C-star algebra for the, after uh, applying this recipe. So here are some uh, technical steps. So we have we start with our vector space, and we will get a uh, groupoid that contains the over that vector space. So we get a symplectomorphism 
for the cotangent bundle, <coughs> and this is the polarization of the vector space that's spanned by the uh, momentum uh, space. So here the important thing is at the end we will get a uh, wave transformation that will give us a map from the uh, functionals f to the operators, projector operators. So this map is important in a, for our comparison between the strictic theories and the quantum uh, and the uh, quantization. So here the algebra that we get is the twisted C star algebra of this group. And here the important thing is the operator product is the Moyle product. Okay, so this is a uh, proven by Hawkins. In, uh, it's uh, just a small example in his uh, 50 pages uh, article. And it's also proven before separately by uh, Garcia Bondi and uh, Valeri in 1995. So if you check the quantum uh, sub uh, in the uh, in the paper of Speckens, so here he, he uses PVMs. So every functional corresponds to this observable where these uh, phi f's are the uh, projectors, and these are given by the again by well trust transform of the <laughs> function f. So basically we will get the same thing as we get here. So we have well transform in the quantization and the uh, quantum sub theories. So, and uh, to prove the operation equivalence between the epistolic theories and the uh, quantum sub theories, the Speckens uses the Wigner representation, and the Wigner representation of an oper operator product is given by, again, Moyle product. So, we can uh, conclude that uh, uh, <laughs> by geometric quantization, we can uh, go from the epistolic theories to the uh, to the uh, quantum sub theories and the group algebra, uh, this twisted uh, C star group algebra contains the algebraic structure of the uh, quadrature uh, quantum sub <laughs> okay. So, here the uh, functorial, generally, quantum uh, ge geometric quantization is not factorial, but in our case, it's a very specific case, of, so it is, uh, will be factorial. So, functorial. So when we take our group as uh, follows, objects are. are Plectic manifolds, one morphisms are the Langridian polarizations, and two morphisms are uh, affine transformations. So after quantization, two morphisms will uh, become a uh, sister algebra automorphism after quantization. So here, basically, specifically, it is the uh, representation theory of the affine, uh, uh, affine transformation, the uh, affine symplectic transformation. So the Final the discrete group phase quantization. So here we, we are going to start with the uh, Robbins algebra of the Speckenstoid there, but it is we are in uh, odd prime case because uh, for technical reasons we cannot generalize for a even prime case, which is the original Speckenstoid theory. So once we get the Robbins algebra, we can uh, uh, we can construct the uh, we can construct a groupoid here by using the uh, explicit connection with the Turkov Union Catenarian Contreras. So, from every special degree for being subject on uh, relations and sets, so we can get a groupoid. So, from this groupoid, we get the pair groupoid. So, that introduces the split structure which is compatible with the pair groupoid. So, and we can, uh, uh, on this uh, uh, pair group, we apply geometric quantization procedure in this case. So, we consider the complex valid functions, function space on the group eight and use the discrete Fourier transform defined by Gross. So, at the end, we will obtain again a C star algebra, finite dimensional C star algebra. And from that finite uh, dimensional C star algebra, we can obtain the a uh, special uh, degree of Frobenius algebra for the uh, finite dimensional Hilbert space, the category, category of uh, finite dimensional Hilbert space. So basically that will give us a functor from the uh, Frobenius algebra of relations to the functor of the uh, finite dimensional Hilbert space. Uh, so, for example, uh, 
functions appear in the periphery of your talk somehow. You don't make them the central object, but I mean, they have they appear in your talk, and you're citing David Gross for his yeah. PhD thesis on Dinger functions. So, yeah, so I wonder, part A, can you phrase your results in terms of Dinger functions, and can you relate it to things that people have done with Dinger functions? So I think uh, of the Emerson work, namely, okay. if you have yeah. Positive Wigner functions transforming under Clifford gates, you can efficiently simulate that. Can you relate your results somehow to that kind of work? Uh, what I know is, for example, for even case, the Wigner functions is negative. So that is actually, uh, I think that is an obstruction that makes us uh, corresponding difficult because one side is local, the other side is non local. So negative uh, Wigner functions will give us contextual, contextual, I guess, the other side, uh, non-contextual. Speckenstoiter is non-contextual. So that might give us an uh, obstruction in terms of uh, Wigner function. I don't know. Let's thank the speaker once again.